ください、こちらではインドネシアウィークが開催されてるんです。This Indonesia Week is taking place in early July. Throughout the week, there are exhibits of photos and musical instruments to help people understand the country, as well as opportunities to try on traditional costumes. Sabrina, an international student from Indonesia, will be traveling with us today. She is studying international business at APU. Sabrina's homeland of Indonesia is an island nation found in Southeast Asia. Indonesia has a population of more than 250 million, about twice that of Japan. Also on display are dolls featuring different ethnic costumes. The costumes are different for each ethnic group. Sabrina is from the island of Java, which is also home to the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Bobdu Temple, which is a famous Buddhist temple. There is a large stone Buddha there as well. If you mention stone Buddha in Oita, The first place that comes to mind is. Actually, in Oita, there is a stone that was created in Oita. Oh, that's right. Let's go. 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 Where you can feel the Japan of yore, such as this charming castle town and the stone Buddhas. The Usuki stone Buddhas we went to see are said to be carved about 1,000 years ago. A group of stone Buddhas representative of Japan. If you look closely, you will see that some still have color. There are Buddhas of different types still here, just as they have always been. Oh, Anna! Ah, eh! The guide, Mrs. Nakamura, showed us a way to greet the Buddhas that was just a bit different. By squatting down to pay our respects, we could get a good look at the Buddha's eyes. What did Sabrina think? Even though these were the same stone Buddhas, the fact that they had been colored impressed Sabrina. Comparing this new knowledge with her own country, Sabrina was impressed by the differences in culture. This little bit of information provided the opportunity for the birth of a new interest. So, Sabrina, where should we go next? Sabrina was curious about the Nyoza historical road. We moved along to central Usuki and were heading down the street towards our destination when we found a temple that caught our interest. But even though we wanted to see inside, the front entrance was closed. Gathering our courage, we decided to push the button for the intercom. <laughs> we were nervous about dropping in all of a sudden like this, but then there was a response from inside. Even though we dropped in suddenly, thankfully, we received permission to film our visit. This temple's name is Kenshoji, and it is a Zen Buddhist temple established 385 years ago. 
Ekun Ando is the 17th head priest of this temple, and he showed us around. While listening to the priest, Sabrina's interest was drawn to this site in particular. This time we just happened upon this temple by chance. The priest showed us the beautiful garden, and after that, having heard that there was a tea room, we had him show us that too. Sabrina had studied tea ceremony at APU. She was overjoyed. But the tea room here was not simply a tea room. Covered in wicker work refers to wood and bamboo being shaved into thin, narrow strands that are then woven together. The ceiling here was added in 1941 by the 16th head priest and the volunteers who supported the temple to replace and update the previous ceiling. They wanted to leave a beautiful tea room for the next generation. It is said that one of those volunteers was Shounsai Shono. Shounsai Shono was a bamboo craftsman who was recognized as a living national treasure in 1967. His high level of skill is still recognized today. ジョシ代から今18代目の教え。バトンタッチ。バトンタッチ。またまた18代は19代へ。ね、あの、次々受け継いでいって大事にそういうものを大事に育てていかれば。これこういうのお部屋は動画だけで見てたんですけど、今